Let's go back to 2016 when we launched our investigation after staff and parents complained of severe discipline problems at some schools as the district moved to a more lenient, unratified policy. Instead of bad behavior improving, the opposite happened. When Superintendent Gabriel Trujillo took over, he ordered staff to overhaul the code of conduct, which the board recently approved. We wanted to know, is the district on the right track? We asked a student and teacher once in the thick of the discipline disorder. Assaults on students and teachers in hallways and classrooms caught on camera or documented in district reports. In a tell-all interview in 2016, a former Booth Fickett principal revealed the district downplayed or underreported serious discipline issues in the name of incident reduction, and district documents supported the claims. Teachers complained of rampant disrespect and defiance that impacted student learning at many schools. Veteran teacher Yolanda Sotelo, along with colleagues, came forward with chronic issues of tardies and absences. She reviewed the new code of conduct designed to be easier to read. Overall, good start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good start and it is easier to read. Rincon High School junior Joseph Abney, who had attended Booth Fickett during the discipline crisis, agrees. The format, of course, was different compared to the other one but you actually could understand it. It was put out in simple terms. Check. The district appears to have simplified the policy, but what about the enforcement? Sotelo says the lenient practices had made it hard for teachers to manage disruptive behavior that impeded learning in the classrooms. One of the things that they did add was uh, when, a, when a student is disruptive, they can be asked to leave the classroom immediately. That's a good step with this document. Check, the new policy appears to have given classroom authority back to the teachers. It is a, a different document and it, it gives the student, it gives the parent, but especially the teacher, it really gives them an understanding of what are the consequences. Before the school year, teachers had expressed concern over whether they'll be properly trained in implementing the new practices. TUSD tells us the district held administration and teacher sessions that lasted 45 or 60 minutes. And the district is encouraging schools to conduct two parent sessions per year and one student session, usually a school assembly or in-class reviews. But Sotelo still worries the efforts of the district will fall flat because of bureaucratic language in the policy, specifically the use of the word may instead of shall. Principals may exercise reasonable discretion in deciding which violations occurred and actions that may be taken. Will they use that as an excuse not to? Sotelo and Joseph say they'll be keeping a close watch on enforcement this semester. How people treat people, how people are disciplined, that's what I'd look at. And we'll continue to examine the progress throughout the school year and report that to you. Valerie Cavazos, Kega 9 on your side. Firefighters here in Tucson training to protect themselves, but not from the flames.